Okay, fifth grade, lesson 97. This is on ratios. Okay, let me explain to you what a ratio is. A ratio is a relationship between two numbers. Okay, and you're going to hear something like, um, we'll just do the first one. If there are 12 dogs and 18 cats in a kennel, then the ratio of dogs to cats is what? Okay, so there are 12 dogs and 18 cats, okay? And they want to know what the ratio of dogs to cats is. What's that so you mean? would just, ratio like, or relationship? Huh? Oh, you mean Rel the middle? No, yeah. ratio just means what is the relationship between dogs to cats. So the answer is going to be 12 over 18. Dogs to cats. Okay. Okay. Another way to write a ratio is like this. Okay. Okay. And another way to write a ratio is this. 12 to 18. Okay. Okay. So all of these tell me the ratio from dogs to cats. What if I said, what's the ratio of cats to dogs? It'd be 18 would, over 12. It'd be 18 over 12. Okay. Or 18... 12, 18, 2, 12. You get it? Now, the, the neat thing that you need to remember is that you can reduce a ratio. Okay. Okay? So, if I was doing dogs to cats, 12 to 18, help, help me to reduce this using the biggest number that both will go into both 12 and 18. Four. A little, a little bit higher. Eight. Lower. Six. Yes. So let's divide this one by six and let's divide this one by six and see if we can reduce it. Twelve divided by six is um, two. Eighteen divided by six is three. So basically what this was saying is there are twelve dogs and eighteen cats. And if you want to break it down, then it's a good way to look at it like this, Eli. For every two dogs... There's three cats. You see how a ratio breaks it down even more where you can fully understand it? So every two dogs, mm -hmm. there's three cats. Okay? okay. Which brings us to 12 dogs and 18 cats. Yeah. You got it? Feel like you understand? Okay. Yeah. Now, here's something. Um, let's take apples and oranges. Okay? There were 12 oranges. I'm going to put 12 O like that, Eli. Okay. Eli, look. Okay, as I was saying, there are 12 oranges, so I'll put an O for oranges. 12 oranges to 16 apples. That's an A. Okay? 12 oranges to 16 apples in a basket. What was the ratio of apples to oranges? Did you hear what they said? What's the ratio of apples to oranges? Six, 12 over 16? No, that's oranges to apples. 16 over 12? Very good. You see, whatever they ask you first, ratio of apples to oranges, the first one is the first one you write. 16 apples to 12 oranges. You got it? Now, can I reduce this? Yes. So for every 16 apples, I have 12 oranges, and I'm going to reduce that. Four will go into both of them. So let's divide both of these by four to reduce it. I would get four over Wait, five. six would go into both of them, wouldn't they? No, six will go into um, 16. Okay. Okay, so this is 16 apples divided by four gives us four apples. 12 oranges divided by four gives us five oranges. So basically what this is saying is, I did that wrong, three, sorry, 12 divided by three, or four is three, okay? So, four apples to every three oranges in this basket. Mm -hmm. Now, I need you to remember, look at this number, look at this fraction, and tell me what's wrong with it. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. Right. When you're working with ratios, this word right here, ratio. When you're working with ratios, you leave it improper or proper. You do not make it into a mixed number. Okay? Because watch this. 
four apples and three oranges. Well, if I four whole apples, what would that work? I would do four divided by three, and that would give me one and one third. One and one third what? Yeah. What happened to the apples and the oranges? You see, so you do not make ratios into mixed numbers, but you can and you should reduce them. Good. You get it? Mm -hmm. Do you get why you wouldn't make it into a mixed number? Yes. Okay. But every other number that's improper, you do. You got it? Okay. Okay, that's lesson 60, uh, 97.